couple of benches for this place. It's called Dimension Mill or the Mill. And we're going up to look in the old kiln. I'm going to source some materials from the site to build them. It's a really cool place. I'll put a link in the description to this, uh, the build and reconstruction of this place. Really awesome story. So this whole pile is, is just the joist hangers and those little triangular pieces. Mm -hmm. There's a gas can thing back there. <laughs> That'd be cool. So the main building was converted to like a co-work space and then my camera is going to be right in the sun, sorry. This is not in focus. There we go. This is the old mill and kiln where they used to build furniture and they would uh, cook all the wood over there and dry it out, kiln dry it. And these are the pieces that I am taking from the hoard, from their pile. These are four joist hangers. They hang the beams. And then those are a couple of pieces we found that somebody had already kind of cleaned up and they had made for steps, I think. And we're going to try and use those. They probably were rejected because they're kind of pithy. So we've got those and we've got these uh, joist hanger brackets I'm going to try and do something with. And if I can do something with these, there are more of those. So that is what we have. So those joist hangers will be the legs for the benches. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Hey everyone and welcome back. The video that you just watched was me picking up uh, the lumber and the the joist slash beam hangers uh, from Dimension Mill. And these are going to be the legs to uh, the benches, which are these pieces of wood right here. I just want to show you, oops, knocked my welding helmet off. I want to show you the size of this timber. I'd love to get my hands on. I'd love for them to pay me in lumber because there is more of the. There are more of these. These things are. These suckers are three inches, three inches thick. Ooh, tape measure stuck in there. And uh, let's see what we've got here on width thirteen by. 57. We were shooting for six foot, so we're a little shy there, but these were already finished and been milled. So I'm going to sand the edges on them, make a smooth edge. We're going to see how they look sitting on uh, four of those. So let me see if I can get one of them set up and uh, see what we're going to get. So I think I only have one option for setup is, well, maybe two options. Face them together or turn them kind of at an angle. I think they probably look better facing each other. Because if I set them side by side like this, they are too wide. Even if I put them together, they're gonna to be too wide for that 13 inch piece. So they have to go either this way or at the corners. So let's try setting a board up on that and see what it looks like. Not exact, so I had to kind of shim up on this side. They need to be bent and kind of straightened. A couple of them are kind of tweaked a little bit. But we were shooting for about 18 inches. And we're real close. We're about 17 and a half. So by the time I get the little adjustable feet on there, those are going to be just about perfect. You can see this one here is kind of bowed out a little bit more than this one. Those are kind of fun, aren't they? Let's go out here where we can get a little bit better view. I got the board offset a little bit, but kind of hard to balance that by yourself. So I think that's probably, let me try turning them at an angle and maybe see what that looks like. But I, I kind of like that, especially from the front side where you can actually see the shape of the, of the foot. Let me turn them at an angle and see what we think about that. And then we'll pick one of those two and go with it. Obviously those aren't really lined up where they should be, but I 
think that kind of throws it off a little bit. I don't know what you think. It may not if I if I actually brought the foot out towards us. Might look okay. We're borderline where it's on the edge though. Let me try bringing them out a little bit and take a look. That works really well for one leg. And then when you go to put the, the other one in, I'd probably have to cut an arm off and I really don't want to do that. I could weld the brackets together and make it basically one big foot piece, but I mean, if I could get it lined up where it was exactly on the corner, they might look kind of cool that way, but I don't know. It kind of looks like a claw foot tub or something. I'm not sure I like that. So I think I'm going to go with what's easiest, which is putting them just straight. I had to go with a kerosene bucket as a prop because it kept tipping itself over. But I think that's what I'm going to do. All these have to be, all of these little joist hangers have to be wire wheeled and I don't know if I'm going to oil them or paint them. Probably just uh, flat black paint them. And then the edges of this timber here is still sharp so those all have to all be sanded. The front edge is sanded and routered looks like so that's all I have to do to those. They are in a couple places just kind of uh, pithy for lack of a better word. I don't know if you can see that down in there. Let me see if I can get that up where you can see it. So they're just kind of uh, almost dry rotted in a couple of areas, which is probably why they were rejected for the steps that they were using these for. So that'll have to go on the back and I'll take a sander down in and just kind of sand out this kind of wormwood area and make that smooth. The other one's in pretty decent shape, but I mean, it has a couple of uh, nail hole places along the way that are kind of rotted and they're kind of in the same condition as this one on the on the back side. So, yep, I think we're gonna go with straight legs in the front. So they'll just come like, let me find one here. They will just work like this. Or they'll just come straight off the front and that'll be our, our leg. Uh, pretty simple to attach those. The holes are already drilled on the top. And then I just have to drill a hole in the bottom of them uh, down here on each of the, the flat spots and put those adjustable uh, little foot pegs in there. The building these are going in is a, an upcycled, if you will, space. And so the floors aren't perfectly level, which is kind of an awesome space to put something like this. So we're going to try and make life easy on them where they can adjust if they want to move these benches to a, a less than level spot. So let me get busy wire wheeling and sanding. And I'll turn you back on when we've kind of got a next step, a next phase completed. So these are all pretty close. The bends are not exactly at 45s on all of them. So I'm going to put a uh, speed square on them. Get them kind of squared up. I'll probably have to heat them because this is some tough stuff. And this one's kind of bent in a little bit. So I'm going to have to bend it out. And then those four back there will pair together. Let's see if we can get these all at 45s. So that's what we're going for on those. Just make sure both of the little feet that come up that are going to attach to the bench are uh, going to be level. And it's just taking a little bit of beating on them with a Dad always says if it doesn't fit, get a bigger hammer. So I'm using a small hammer, but it's three pound slide and it's working pretty well. Just sand them with my foot uh, in between the little divot there and give them a good whack a couple of times and it seems to be working pretty well. So one down, seven to go. The scamitas are eating me alive out here. <clears throat> Just going to go through and measure and make sure those are all the same. I want to measure the uh, area down here and the width up here. I have checked all of them so that when they're standing on their feet, the top little flaps are level or at level. So we're at four. That one's just shy of four. 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 Let's make sure we're eight and a three quarter. Eight and three quarter. Eight and three quarter. And eight and three quarter. So 
Those are as close as I can get them. And then I'll have to drill a hole uh, at the top of, because at the end, they have three smaller holes. And I think I'm just going to put one right in the middle and do like a fat half inch lag bolt or something like that. They, they kind of have the illusion, the ones that are painted, that they're uh, twisted on top. But it's actually just where they painted on them. So I think once they're wire wheeled, they'll all look more similar. Because these have kind of a white and black mix of paint. And these are just the black and rust. So they, they kind of have the illusion that they're bent or look different. But I think they're, they're as close as I'm going to get them. So let me just get those other four bent and modified. And then uh, we can start some assembly. Sometimes I don't have the right pressure point when I'm in the garage. See how those two are off just a little bit. Show what I'm saying here. This distance is less than this distance. So the whole thing needs to kind of go whomp. Just like that whomp. So I'm going to use that triangle point, make myself a pressure point, and pull those even with one another. This steel is. Uh, <laughs> pretty tough to move, but I'm managing to do it without heating it, so let me get that set up. So I am going to put this one, which is my longer one, in like that, and I'm going to pull that one towards me, and that should twist it. I have to do it two-handed though, so i got to put you down for a second. I said I could probably put you in a tripod can actually see what's going on. So this is my shorter one and I've got it wedged in that little triangular piece there on the boat trailer and I'm just going to pull this one towards me. The only reason I'm able to move this steel is because it does have quite a bit of length to it and because of that we can move it just a little bit. Just a little bit more. And it has that curl in it. Uh, it's really close, but not close. one more time. <clears throat> I don't know what you think, but I think I can live with that. Well, my two piles have been wire wheeled. I've got that stack there and that stack over there. This one had some kind of sharp edges on it, so I had to go over it with a grinder, kind of take those off. But other than that, we are pretty much ready for paint. I'm going to tack on uh, a nut right inside here. I'm going to put an adjustable foot on there, so I'm going to weld a nut on the inside. It'd be stronger if I welded it on the bottom side of the foot bracket. But I want them to be able to sit as flush as possible. And if I put a nut on there, that's going to stack it, you know, quarter inch or so. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So I went ahead and threaded uh, this hole that I drilled through there. And then I bought, get the camera to focus, I bought these little adjustable feet. And then I threaded this hole. Move that back a little bit so I can put that in there. I promise it does go in there. Here we go. But see how that's a little sloppy? I don't really like that. It's tight when you have it in there. So you can't see anything, can you? And then I bought square nuts to go on there because I thought that might look a little classier. A little older. So my plan is to just kind of thread that in there like that. Now I'm going to have to find a point where I have to have this piece in there, and it, I threaded it so that I can basically use the bolt to hold my nut while I weld it. So that is how that's going to go. So let's get those tacked on there, and then these are ready for paint. Yeah, I've kind of got that all set up on how I'm going to weld that in there. The leg piece has to be in there when the screw is on so that the hole aligns since I threaded both pieces. So this piece here is threaded also. 
I did that uh, thinking it would be strong enough, but buying the nuts also just in case. So I've sanded the little nut and I've ground this down to bare metal uh, right beside that. So we're just going to buzz it there and on the other side as well. And I'm saying that one's going to be a sacrificial lamb because that's plastic on the bottom and that's going to melt after a couple welds probably. I'll try and back it out of there pretty quick, but I, I could put a rag on it maybe and save it. But that's just kind of how I got it set up to weld that little guy on there. Let's get a couple tacks on. We've got two of these little guys left to tack on there, the one you see and the one it's sitting on. So I'll turn the welder on. The other ones are all done and tacked on there and um, move ready for paint. Stay out of your way. Anytime you're welding less than stellar material, like something that's rusty, you kind of get that way it was welding or it was jumping back on me. Go scrape that off and see what it looks like. So I'm using FlexCore welder, so you kind of get a slag or that builds up around it. I'll just keep scraping on that until we get most of it off. So there's that weld all kind of cleaned up. You can't see anything. There we go. I've got those legs all painted up. Two coats on this batch here, and these have one coat on that side, and I'll flip those over after I've given them a second coat and touch up the, the outer side, but went with a semi-gloss. This turned out pretty nice. So, basically, we're just down to assembly now. Well, there they all are. Ready to go on those two pieces of timber right there. <laughs> got one of them sanded down. This is the one that had all that pithy mess on the back and I've just taken the sander and kind of basically just sanded it, most of it out of there. And I'll go over it with a really light polyurethane. I'm not going to use a gloss. It's going to be like a semi-gloss or a satin. And then I've kind of positioned the feet where I think they need to be. I'm going to set up another set there. I had to stick a weight in the middle. I didn't want to put a screw. I didn't want to put another hole in the board if I didn't need to. So let me get another set of the feet up there. And we'll see kind of what that looks like. And if those are good, we'll go ahead and pre-drill those holes and get those feet set up on there. And then I'll uh, polyurethane the bench. So that is six inches in on each side. That looks pretty good, I think. <clears throat> Kind of worked out nice that those brackets can only go one way and then i just measured to the center line uh so six and a half the whole thing's 13 six and a half is where the seam is so it should be straight that way i'll double check it where i drill any holes but <clears throat> looks pretty good i might play around with it just a little bit more shove them in, bring them out. Uh, I think that's probably about as good as they're going to get spacing wise. It's like I lined those holes up when I drilled them out. Well, there is one assembled. Still needs to have some 
some gloss put on the top. I've decided that this wood is pine. My parents agreed. Couldn't decide if it was pine or maple. But the grain is pine. We decided. Those look pretty good on there. And we're right at 17, I believe. Get the tape out here and we'll see where we're at height wise. So we are pretty much right at 17. Just a little shy of 17. By the time we get those little feet on there, it'll be just about perfect. Yeah, those are going to look good. Kind of gives an optical illusion on this one. It looks like it's kicking out. Just the way I'm standing. It's not. They're all dead even. Looks pretty good. Let's have a sit. Oh yeah. It's nice. Well, those are all done. And I have polyurethaned them with a semi-gloss. I hope that they do not turn out as glossy as they are right now. I don't think they will. Looks like it's starting to dry a little bit right here. I'm pretty happy with how those turned out. I had to put something on them though, because there's a couple areas right here being one of them where I couldn't sand out. I don't want it to pick people's clothing. So that's the back side. <laughs> Of that one. Both of them had kind of a pithy spot on the back or on one side of the lumber. We're gonna call it the back. Yeah, those look pretty nice. And I don't have the feet on them yet because they have a felt bottom on them and I just didn't want them to get all cruddy in the shop here. So We'll come out and check those tomorrow and see what they look like, and I'd say those are good to go. Well, we're all stamped up and trademarked, so to speak. They are done. Just gonna load them up into the double cab and delivered. And in we go. Nothing like a double cab. Drop down both gates, slip them in. We'll just leave them on the sides, close to the sides. Be easier to get out that way. Good to go. Let's get these things out of my custody. So right here as you come in the door is kind of the planned space. Let's try to get the glare out of your eye. Right as you come in the door. I think he's going to put them right there. Let's see what he does. So they're just right outside the restrooms. And they look pretty good there. I'll walk you down here and show you where a couple of those joist hangers actually are. These are the steps we used. That's a joist hanger. There's one right here too. Can you see it? Right there. That's what we used. Amazing space, though. We've done an incredible job with this place. Thank you.